To build out our homepage template properly, we need to get a few more images uploaded. So let's go back into File Upload and we're going to grab the header graphic. And notice that just by double clicking, we'll go ahead, refresh it, and boom, already there on the server. So we've got our header, header graphic. We need our nav aside graphic. And, oh, did not select it. We need the nav aside. Said we need the nav aside. Try coming back and refreshing this page here. There we go, we got the nav aside. Um, we're going to need our section header. Mm. Looks like we're having some errors uploading the file here. Looks like some little glitches. Just refresh there. Um, section header. and a static feature image. And I just know that um, we need these images because I'm looking through the template. Hmm, kind of being buggy here, are we? There we go, all up. And I just I looked through the template and knew that we needed these files. So now that they're all on the server, we can go back into our template. And basically, anywhere that there is an assets forward slash images, we can change that to just be site URL or um, just do a find and replace for all of these um, because we're editing in the browser. It's not going to be as easy as if we had a code editor. So let's just see if we can catch all of these. I've got an image here. I've got an image here. We've got an image here, and that's all here. Now notice that we're not just in the images folder, but we're also in uploads folder. So we're going to have to paste in the images forward slash uploads as well. Let's go ahead and just take a look at that and see how that has changed the look of our template. Looks like it hasn't. So come back in here and just double check. It doesn't look like it's refreshed. Okay, come down and try updating again. Refresh our page. So it looks like some of these, ah, there we go, okay. Some of these are uploading, but some of these are not. So let's go back and double check that we have everything set up right. All the images here are, oh, no, that's, a, that's an extra one. Let's go ahead and look in our head and the side embeds. Ah, and there we find the culprit because inside of our header, we needed to add site URL, images, uploads, and that should take care of header graphic. And there we go. And now let's go into our sides and get that final side graphic. Refresh the page there. And now that we have that set, let's go ahead and look at our page. We should see, there we go. Now we've got all of our graphics set to go, uploaded, and we have a beginning understanding of how to start working with our file manager. What we'll do next is we will go ahead and set up Expression Engine to start working with different pages of content and customizing the templates for each of those pages.